Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks and today we're going to make a pineapple pound cake. I'm going to use my favorite pound cake recipe that's in the volume one cookbook, except we're going to doctor it up with a little pineapple today and it's going to be really good. Now the pups are out running around playing with toys so you might hear them, okay? Now the first thing you always start with when you're making a pound cake is your butter and you cream it with your sugar. But now my pound cake has shortening in it because shortening is really good in cakes and cookies. And that's the secret to a nice fluffy biscuit, believe it or not, instead of butter. So we're gonna use a half cup. So you've got a cup of shortening and three quarter cups of butter going in. And that's supposed to be room temperature, and I cheated a little bit and put it on defrost in my microwave because me and Chris have been out this morning. And we're going to mix this up till it's nice and creamy and white, and then we'll start adding our sugar. Now, the sugar is three cups of sugar, okay? You guys asked me about this mixer. This is a mixer that's made in Germany by Bosch. A lot of y'all have heard the brand before, but didn't know they made a mixer. And I actually have a dishwasher made by Bosch. It's a great quality product. The, the bowl is super uh, big and holds a lot of batter. This is going to be a three cup flour cake batter recipe, which is a lot of batter. And you'll see it barely even fills up half this bowl. Now, uh, it's also got a larger motor in it than the standard KitchenAid does. It's got an 800 wattage motor, and I think there's a 600, something like that. But anyway, actually, I think their standard's maybe 450, and their larger one is 600, but this one's 800. And so it's really good for making bread, too. It's really light. Oh, and the most important thing I like about it is that you can actually pick it up and it's not heavy and move it around and that's really nice too. All right, so we're going to add three cups of sugar to this and I was thinking about cutting the sugar because I'm add adding some pineapple, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to make it just like I make it and just add some pineapple to it, okay? We went ahead and put our salt in. We're going to go ahead and add our vanilla. Um, there's no reason why you have to wait till the very end. This is a vanilla that a friend sent me, and I actually just opened it up in the mail today. And it's uh, Raleigh vanilla. It was his mother's favorite vanilla. So we're going to use it today in our pound cake. So you always want to put plenty of vanilla in your pound cake. And let me see how many teaspoons I have. I've got two teaspoons of vanilla and a teaspoon of almond. And we're not going to use almond since we're using pineapple. So I'm just going to use three teaspoons of vanilla today. And then I'm going to start adding the eggs one at a time. And I'll let it beat a little bit in between. And i put them all in here if you ever um, don't have your eggs at room temperature. And you want a quicker way to get them at room temperature, you can put them out in a shallow dish like this and that helps them come to room temperature quicker, okay? Wow, nine large eggs. That's how many eggs my pound cake has in it. It's my Favorite camp pound cake of all. 
this cake is so delicious. The shortening helps it be light and fluffy. And I do like this recipe better than just a butter pound cake. And it has nine eggs, which makes it even better. All right, so we're going to start adding the flour. And you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put this lid up. First, I'm going to put a cup in here. It's not going to hurt nothing. And then I'll add the rest of the flour with a half cup scoop. And I'm going to put the shield on there so it doesn't make as much of a mess. And we're also going to be putting in a couple of teaspoons of baking powder because this is all-purpose flour. Now the flour today, you can sift your flour uh, and your baking powder together if you want to, but the flour, this white lily flour comes pre-sifted and there's really no need in sifting it. you don't need to mix it over two minutes it gives that flour and gluten time to start working and once it hits that wet uh, batter and a pound cake only has eggs in it it doesn't have a liquid in it the eggs is what makes the liquid in it but we are gonna add a half can of pineapple to ours I've already put a half of this can of pineapple to the side to put on top of the cake um, in the bottom of our bunt pan, but we're gonna add this. But I'm gonna let this mix about a minute and then you'll see me adding the pineapple. Let's add our pineapple. This is just half of a can of pineapple and it does have some liquid in it. a very large batch of cake batter. When I say very large, you've got to have a very large tube pan or bunt pan uh, or it will overflow in the oven. So a standard one will not work. It's got to be at least a 12 cup. Or you can use your standard one and just fill it three quarter high, no higher than that, and then use the rest of the batter in a loaf pan, okay? And it tastes very pineapple-y, it's very good. I'm gonna sit this right here. See how easy that is to pick up? Lord, you couldn't do that with a KitchenAid, could you? But now look, I like a KitchenAid. Don't get me wrong, I like it. That's what my mama used my whole life. But it's really hard for me to pick them up and move them. So when I got this one in, boy was I excited. All right? Of course, we're using delicious white lily flour that's light and fluffy. And let me show you what we're gonna do to our pan. We're gonna take butter, and this is a tube pan. And I really think if you're gonna to try to put a topping, then you really need to use a tube pan, not a two-part tube pan. Those are for angel food cakes and sponge cakes. They are not for regular cakes like this, okay? So it needs to be a solid tube pan. And you need to, I'm gonna leave a little extra butter in the bottom. I'm gonna use a little bit of extra butter in the bottom. But we're going to make this almost like the top of a pineapple upside down cake. So we're just going to take some brown sugar and just sprinkle it in the bottom good. But it needs to be a flat bottom so that your topping looks pretty instead of one of those decorative butt pans like the anniversary edition or something. And now I'm going to take the pineapple and what I'm going to do with the pineapple is I'm just gonna pick it up and let most of the juice run out of it and just sprinkle it on top of the brown sugar. I mean, it's still got a little juice in it, but kind of squeeze most of the juice out of it. This is kind of a messy cake, a messy fun cake. And if you wanna use a slotted spoon, then you can do that. But the good thing about using your fingers is the juice runs through your fingers and it's almost like straining it. And Chris didn't want me to put pecans or anything like that on the top because lots of times they do, instead of toasting and being sticky and good, they get soggy and they're just not as good as you'd think they'd be. All right, so just spread this around. 
and you can even pack it a little bit. And now we're going to press that down in there good and we're going to spray the pan really good with cooking spray. Remember to spray the flute too, okay? Not just the outside, but this round part in the middle as well. And now we're going to add our cake batter to our pan. And remember, you don't want to get it more than three quarters full. And this is a lot of cake batter. Uh, you could actually, this is enough cake batter that you could take half of it out and make a coconut with half of it and make a pineapple with the other half and do loaf pans easy. It probably make three or four loaf pans. It's a big... All my cake recipes in my first cookbook give you a lot of batter because it drives me crazy. The way these cake mixes are today, they don't have enough batter in them. Couldn't be any more than that. That's getting close, ain't it? Let's get it in the oven and bake it. And once it's done, it's going to rise up pretty. It's, you're going to see it pull away from the edges a little bit. And I'm going to let you watch it cook today, okay? Our cake is ready, and I have never used this uh, tea pan before, and I really, I think I could have filled it even fuller than I did. But you can see how the cake is pulled away from the sides of the pan, so you know it's done. And we're gonna flip it upside down. Now, I can go ahead and tell you right now, the texture on the top is a little different from adding the uh, pineapple. Oh, that's pretty. Now, I went ahead and flipped it out quick uh, because of the pineapple. You just got to be real careful when you do it. There was one little piece right here that fell off. Woo. Let's see if I can get it to cling back on there. Did it fall off on the other side, Chris, or does it look good? Nope. It looks good? Yeah. So we're going to let that sucker cool off. All right, we're going to go ahead and slice into this because we have a party here tonight. And I've got to get this edited and on for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and slice it. It's going to be smoky hot. And I am not going to glaze this cake because of the pineapple topping. It's really pretty and shiny. And we're just going to cut a piece. And everybody loves warm pound cake. Okay. It's very soft and moist. You can really tell that it's soft and moist it looks amazing to me. And that pineapple's on the top right there. And then you got pineapple in the cake as well. And it's hot. Mmm, mmm. That is absolutely delicious, and I wouldn't change one thing. Perfect amount of sugar, perfect amount of salt. The pineapple is very flavorful in it. It tastes really good. You're going to love this pineapple pound cake. I just know it. And I think because it had the pineapple in it, it didn't rise as much as my regular pound cake would. So you might could put more in the pan. 
So remember that anytime you put fruit in a cake, it weights it down a little bit. So keep that in mind. It is absolutely beautiful though. And this way I can, I can make a, uh, I got enough batter to make a, a loaf size pan for a neighbor. And so that's always a plus too. Okay, y'all, this is absolutely delicious. I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, it's got the right amount of sugar. You could really taste the pineapple, and that vanilla flavoring is good, Mark. Thanks for the gift, okay? Y'all have a wonderful night, and we will see you next time on Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love ya. If you love pineapples and you like pound cake, this is a winner, winner. Let's get started.